Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK into your sitting rooms, bedrooms, wherever you're watching me from. Welcome to my channel, and if you like what I talk about, please subscribe, share, and whatever you need to do. Um, today's video, I mean, you live and learn every single day. I did not know that if you are married or in a civil partnership and your husband died or your spouse or your partner died um, and they were under state pension age, they get bereavement support. But, you know, you get £2,500 plus a monthly amount of £100. If they get child benefit, they can get £3,500, a lump sum plus £350 a month. Now, they need to um, have paid national insurance for 25 weeks, at least, and they need to have died um, because of work-related, apparently. But even then, I guess I was, to be honest, I didn't realise it was just work-related. It can't just be work-related. I was thinking, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking about all these women who have lost their husbands or spouses through stabbings or murders or any, you know, other kind of ways you lose your spouse. And I was just wondering if they were eligible. But then on the Gov website, it did say that, what did it say? Um, need to have paid a national insurance contribution for at least 25 weeks, died because of an accident at work or a disease caused by work. That does seem a bit specific. And if that is the only way you get um, bereavement support, I don't understand why the mirror is broadcasting over the headlines how DWP is um, discriminating against people who live together. Apparently, the headlines are that um, DWP, um, only married couples get bereavement support. DWP discriminates against cohabitees. And apparently, 1,000 of grieving families are left without bereavement benefits. People who lose their partners before pension age can claim bereavement support payment worth up to £3,500 plus £350 a month for 18 months. But that's only if they get child benefit, they get that amount. Otherwise, like I said, it's 2500 Couples must be married or in a civil relationship to qualify. Apparently, there's 2,200 cohabiting couples with children who do not qualify. And in 2018, the Supreme Court told the DWP that they could not discriminate against cohabitees. But the DWP are still struggling to recognise couples who live together as being in an authentic relationship and qualify for the bereavement support. Are they old fashioned? Are they traditional? What's going on there? I mean, so many people are living together these days. And like they say, 2,200 cohabiting couples. I'm yet wondering if it's just people on benefits. But when I looked on the Gov website, it had a different section for people on benefits. So it appears to me that anyone, as long as you've been paying your um, national insurance contributions, if something happens to your spouse, you're entitled to that money. But I, I think it's unfair to restrict it to just work-related deaths. But I guess it's restricted to work-related deaths because of the national insurance contributions. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, um, they, you have three minutes to apply. I hope you're not in the unfortunate position where you do need to apply. But three minutes, three months to apply. They're trying to get it extended to six months. Um, they had bereavement payment at one point. Um, prior to 2017, you could get 2000 if your partner died. But after 2000, after the 6th of April 2017, bereavement support payment came in. And that became available if your spouse or civil partner died on or after the 6th of April 2017. 
and then they've got these other stipulations. So I've got a funny feeling maybe the bereavement payment prior to 2017, because a lot of this is going on. A lot of things were happening around 2016, 2017. A lot of legislation was changing. Um, there is a bereavement allowance and also a widow's pension if the spouse has children. But I just thought it was interesting that, you know, they fork out if your spouse dies. I mean, even if it's work related, that's still good because, you know, you're struggling at that time and you've got funeral expenses. And I think that's quite good. Anyway, like I said, you live and learn. And if you didn't know about it, you do now. Bye-bye.